In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to manually install a theme on your WordPress site through your hosting account cPanel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your business, and for your customers. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's manually install a theme. Inside the WordPress dashboard, if we go to Appearance and then Themes, we see which themes we currently have installed. We have OceanWP and the OceanWP Child theme. And that's it. We're going to add another one manually. You can add them more simply by clicking on add new and choosing a theme from here to install by clicking on install. You can upload a theme as well, a theme you've downloaded previously, you have on your hard drive, the files for it. The manual way we do through our hosting account. So if we go over to ThemeForest, let's say we bought a theme here and let's say it's a beta because I've bought that one in the past. I go to my username in the top right. I have to log in before I can see my username there. Then I go to downloads and I find the theme I want to download, I click on download, and then installable WordPress files only. And that will download the zip file to my hard drive. And now I have to log into my hosting account. And most hosts that host WordPress are cPanel, so you more than likely have a cPanel account. Inside of your cPanel account, you have something called File Manager. Your account may not look like this, but it should have all the same links and all the same options inside your cPanel account. If you cannot find File Manager, go to View, that's not it, go to Edit, and then Find, and then Find again. Then you can just type in right up here, File Manager, and it should highlight it and bring you to the spot in the page where that File Manager link exists. When you found it, click on it. That will open the files for the site. Yours will likely either open here or in the public underscore HTML. So we want to click into public underscore HTML. These are all the WordPress files. Mine probably look a bit different because this is a demo site. I've done a lot of stuff on this site over the years. So yours probably look a bit different, might be a lot cleaner. At a very minimum, you're going to have these three folders, WP admin, WP dash admin, WP dash content, WP dash includes, and then a bunch of files down below. To get a theme installed on our site, we have to go to WP dash content and then go to themes. And here we see the two themes we saw a moment ago, OceanWP-Child and OceanWP. If we click into those, we see all the files associated with those themes. And the child themes are often much more simple than the parent themes. If you wanna know more about child themes, click this video up here in the card up above or the description down below where I tell you all about child themes and why they're important and why you may or may not need one. So now we're in the themes folder. This is where we can upload the files we just downloaded. Let's click on upload. Then let's choose select file. I'm going to find the file we downloaded. This one right here, theme forest Aveda. Open that. It's going to start uploading immediately. Now that that's done, we can close this page. We come back out here to our theme folder, click on reload, and we see our zip file right here. This theme is not yet installed though. We have to unzip it. Click on the file, click on extract, click on extract files. Click on close, refresh again or reload. Now we see our Aveda folder right here. Double click into there and it shows all the Aveda theme files. We can delete this zip file now. We do not need that. Skip the trash and delete the zip file permanently. Make sure you don't delete anything else, just that zip file. Now if we go back into our themes folder, go to appearance and then themes, we now have Aveda as an option right here. And if you want to activate that theme to make that the active theme on your site, simply click on activate. And now we have the Aveda theme as our active theme. And I recommend the next thing you do is check out this playlist right here, which is a full playlist of beginner WordPress tutorials to help you get a solid foundation in WordPress so you can build awesome stuff. Make sure you check out that playlist and bookmark it. If you haven't done so yet, also click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.